All right, so NBA basketball is unofficially back, right? We had our first preseason game of the 2024-25 campaign between the Celtics, the defending champion Celtics, and the Denver Nuggets in Abu Dhabi. This is a potential, potential NBA Finals matchup. I'm going to give some quick overreactions to that game and to the action as far as the Celtics go not too much that I really want to talk about in regards to them but I want to focus specifically on the Denver Nuggets I talked about this on a video a couple of days ago that did pretty well the Nuggets have a lot of questions to be answered this coming season for example they gave up a major player in their starting lineup in Contavious Caldwell Pope didn't give him up but they kind of let him walk for nothing as he went over and joined the Orlando Magic I think Casey P is one of the five best 3 and D players in the entire league. He was a huge loss. One development we've seen with the Nuggets over the last couple of seasons is they've gotten relatively less deeper than what they were back in the 2023 season when they won that championship. Lost a lot of key role players, like I said, in KCP and also Bruce Brown. So a lot of questions to be answered for this team. One guy I'm really, really paying attention to for this squad is Christian Brown. So obviously he is going to be thrust into that starting lineup spot to kind of replace Contavious Caldwell Pope. There are a lot of questions that he has to answer this coming season in two particular ways, right? So for one, is this the season that Christian Brown emerges as one of the best defensive players in the entire league? If you look at him right now, the Nuggets need him to kind of fill that slot and fill that role as a point of attack defender at that wing spot. KCP, as I said, was one of the league's most elite defensive players. He was able to kind of uphold that Denver Nuggets defensive attack out there on the perimeter with him being gone. Christian Brown has a big role to fill, and he's shown off some amazing stuff defensively throughout his NBA career at this point. Also was amazing in the playoffs last season when guarding Anthony Edwards. I think when he guarded Anthony Edwards, he held him to like 33% shooting from the floor in that playoff series in the second round. Can Christian Brown carry that into this particular season at a higher volume than any point in his career at this point? Can he also emerge as one of the NBA's most elite perimeter defenders? In order to truly replace the value that KCP brought, that is where Christian Brown has to get at this particular season as a starter. If he's not able to get into those conversations, then as I said, it's tough to kind of get back what you lost with KCP. Brown has to become one of the NBA's best defensive players, or at least one of the NBA's best young defensive players at this point. And this is the season where those conversations have to start with him. And they did kind of go with him guarding Jason Tatum. That's something he's going to be doing a ton this season, guarding the opposing team's best or second best player. He has to be absolutely huge in that role. Showed off some solid flashes today. Again, really limited action. We know it's the preseason, and we know how that entire thing plays out. But Christian Brown's defense as a point of attack guy and also a defensive playmaker is going to be under a major microscope this season. Also, can he be an elite level floor spacer? One way he's grown from his rookie year at this point in his career is as a three-point shooter. His percentage was pretty deep or pretty decent last season from outside the arc. But can he do that at a higher volume? Can he do that as a player who's going to start and who's also going to end games? This Denver Nuggets offense thrives off of floor spacing. So him being able to knock down shots is going to be key to making things continuously work around Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Again, that's something KCP brought to the table. He is simply one of the best shooters in the entire league. And that's something that Christian Brown has to bring to the table as well. Can he be an efficient three-point shooter at a higher level? volume being used as a starter and as a guy who was going to close out games for this Nuggets squad. One thing I love about Brown is I don't have any questions about him being able to live up and play in big moments. Like it's not like he's getting a starter role and he's not ready to play in big, meaningful playoff games and things like that because we've seen him be a key piece to an actual championship winning team. He was getting clock in the NBA finals back in 2023 and got huge minutes again last season in the playoffs. So he's 
entering the starting role with amazing reps under his belt. But again, it's higher volume as a point of attack defender and also as a floor spacer and three-point shooter. So Christian Brown and his performance on both ends is going to be huge. Long story short, this season, he has to establish himself as one of the best young defensive players in the league and also as a legitimate sniper from downtown for this Nuggets squad to get to where they need to get at this season. Other side of the coin, this is something that's going to be spotlighted a ton with this Nuggets team is Russell Westbrook. I made a video a couple of days ago that I just mentioned where I was talking about Russell Westbrook's potential fit with this Nuggets squad. There's going to be situations where he's on the court with Nikola Jokic and the starters kind of as like that first guy off the bench. And he's going to be doing a lot of off ball cutting and things like that. But there are going to be situations where Russell Westbrook is running with the second unit and he is going to be the lead facilitator. And we saw that today. There were a lot of times where he was able to put a lot of pressure on the rim, sucking the defense and make plays from there. He had also a couple of really good dump off passes to a big, had a really good one where he drove to the basket and dumped it off to DeAndre Jordan. We know that's what Russell Westbrook can bring to the table. But the thing with Russ at this point in his career, and especially here with this Nuggets team, what is the net benefit that he provides to your team? So there's the facilitating and those sorts of things, but there's also the lack of floor spacing and three-point shooting. And today we saw this, a lack of really good defense and off-ball awareness. With Russell Westbrook, I've always felt like he's had this potential to be an elite level defensive player. I've always felt that. I can understand why he wasn't like putting up all defensive level seasons, especially like in the latter days of his OKC Thunder career, because he had to carry a major load offensively. But at this point, as he's kind of relegated to more niche roles on the offense, he should be able to be an elite level defensive player. He's an athletic point guard still, lightning quick, very physical. He's a bigger, stockier point guard with great size. He should be able to be an elite level defensive force for this team and kind of a defensive hub for this team coming off the bench at the point guard position. That's where he needs to get at at this point in his career. I said it before, older players, those former like superstar guys, as they get older, they have to find a role, a niche role that works for them and that provides a benefit for their team. For Russ, I mentioned it, the cutting and all that stuff is great on offense, but his defense is going to be so important for this team coming off the bench today. The awareness just wasn't there, gambling a lot letting guys blow past him on these off-ball cuts to the basket. Again, it's the preseason. I don't want to overreact too much, but that is going to be something to keep an eye on for Russ. Can he finally become like an elite-level defensive force off the bench for the Nuggets? So those are my early, way too early thoughts on this Denver Nuggets team after their first preseason game. Like I said, there is a lot of teams right now in the NBA who have a lot of question marks, and the Nuggets are like at the cream of the crop in that conversation as a contender, right? They're a contender. They've got the best player in the world, but there are still a lot of questions for this team as they're looking to get back on that same path they were on in 2023, where they brought home an NBA championship.